It's that time again. Our beloved subharmonicon gets a firmware update. We're going to bump up from 1.1.0 to 1.1.1. This gives us the ability to pitch bend as well as follow the key uh, with our sequencer so we can change the pitch. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do the firmware update with the software they provide. This is what um, we get in our zipped file from Moog. Uh, here's the instructions. This is going to tell us it's uh, fix some issues where uh, the subharmonicon wasn't acting right with MIDI channel all, a few other things. We're going to invalidate the firmware first. We're going to erase it and then go ahead and do the firmware update. So I'm going to go ahead and hit file, the MIDI out, go to my MIDI controller. I'm all set. From there, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, send. Now, if you can see my subharmonicon, now the first step, red LED light is blinking. That's letting me know that it's sending the data and I should be ready to go. Uh, in the PDF instructions, it's going to tell me that as well. Okay, so we're all set. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step. Okay, here I'm opening up the firmware erase file. And I'm going to go ahead and hit send. When I do that, now notice that the second LED light, uh, the step two LED light is blinking. The firmware has now been invalidated and been erased. The third step is to install the new firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that file. Okay, I'm going to set my MIDI out to my device that's sending it to the subharmonicon and now we see the lights are blinking this will go on for some time so i'll probably just fast forward the video through this part when it's done it should blink in sequence and the machine will kind of boot up like uh like i got it from the factory the first time All right, so there we go. The subharmonicon continued to blink the uh, steps sequencer two, steps one through four, the LEDs flashed in sequence. Then we got a couple flashes, the unit rebooted, and now it looks like it's right out of the factory. I'm gonna go ahead and close the uh, Bone Send SX 1.40, the software that came with the uh, subharmonicon update, firmware update. You can see the MIDI note light up on the subharmonicon. Let's try a pitch bend. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. The subharmonicon seems to be working with the clock. It's working with pitch bend, and it's also being controlled in real time by my MIDI controller.